session for a client. So I'm going to be sharing psychic wisdom and energy healing. If any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can do so by visiting my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. And you can check me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to connect with you again here on YouTube. And thank you so much for sharing with others. I, I love the feedback. I love the update. So your artwork is blossoming with a new approach. That's so exciting. All right, just had to say that. And I'll put a link to your previous session in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out. <laughs> All right, I, I swear to God, I'm going to get started now. I'm going to read these goals and, I'm, and then I'm going to get started. So you say, Hi, Abby. Thank you very much for the previous session. You really helped me see the bigger picture. My art is blossoming with a new approach and techniques. Like you said, I'm playing with shadow by using a lightweight clay on paper. I just came up with it out of the blue when I was in an art shop. I really wanted to do something with my hands and the clay really caught my eye. I've attached a photo of my most recent art. I love it. It's beautiful. It's colorful. It's interesting. That's got to be a lot of fun. I like using the oil paints because they're chunkier. So I'm really into that textured um, type of artwork as well. So that's so great. Okay. So you say, now today, I have two things I want to, I want insight on. All right, in the past, I was always depending on my dad, who said he is clairvoyant, for all the actions I should take in my life. He was pretty controlling, and I forgot to listen to my heart's desires because my mind was full of his. It was like he was living my life, and it was especially hard for me when I wanted to be with someone I loved. But my dad forced me not to hang out with him because he talked to his soul and found out he has a lot of anger. But he's never met him or even spoke to him physically. I feel like I never was able to live my life according to me in my early 20s. And that makes me really sad because in those years you should explore who you are. And I let my dad take over. I don't yet have the heart to forgive him. Although deep down I love my dad, I just have a lot of anger towards him. Would I be able to let this go by time? This is, this is a very intriguing situation with your father between you and your dad. Especially to have a dad that expresses that he has clairvoyant ability and can sense things out. But really it's his insecurity. But maybe, you know, uh, I really like what you've learned from this is you have to follow your your heart to discover for yourself who you're dating right not your dad to tell you who you're dating but for you to discover who you're dating and i would love to look into this about forgiveness and anything else spirit wants to share it's it's a very unique situation all right now the second thing is i've not been in a relationship for about four years and i'm looking for that spark However, maybe I need to focus on my art in the meantime. I really miss being in love with a partner. I used to have someone I like, but it didn't work out. Is there some characteristic I am missing to be liked by someone? Usually the boys I like aren't interested in me and the ones I'm not interested in are. <laughs> I'm tired of not following my heart when it comes to relationships because I used to go with the flow I now know that I want to be with someone I'm obsessed over. Please send me some help. All right. You have the best way of just expressing your thoughts and your observations. And it's very delightful to read. And it just, it makes me feel like I'm stepping into younger shoes. And you just have a very youthful way of expressing yourself. I love it so much. Okay, so your dad and then a partner in your life. I have a feeling that anybody watching this in the audience is going to have so much advice. I have a feeling there's going to be some really cool comments on your session. I've had the same thought in my life. Is there some characteristic I'm missing to be liked by someone? You just have to own it, who you are. You have to totally always be you. 
Otherwise, you're going to be somebody else in order to get the relationship you want, but it won't actually be a relationship based on who you are. It'll be a relationship based on someone you think you need to be to make this relationship work. So you definitely don't want to go down that path. I mean, you're welcome to always, but it's just some food for thought, okay? Now, the boys I like aren't interested in me, and the ones I'm not interested in are. <laughs> Um, I think a lot of us <laughs> have, have felt that way. Um, it's just so so many beautiful thoughts that you've shared. Okay, I'm ready to get started here. Okay. About your father. You know, I just got hit with just a random thought and feeling. And this is all interconnected. You and your relationship with your dad, you exploring a relationship with someone you want to spend the rest of your life with, someone you could obsess over because you just adore them so much, right? There's something interconnected here about this, but I also feel like the reason why it's been four years since you've been able to explore a relationship with someone has to do with self-discovery work. It, it almost feels to me like um, you've been building yourself um, discovering yourself. I know you, you were saying that you wanted to have more self-discovery in your 20s than you felt like you got to have. Um, but these four years are still very valuable and very impactful in how you are um, discovering who you are and what you love to do and how you want to be and express yourself in the world. And that makes it you, you a more genuine you for a more genuine relationship, you know? Because the more you learn, the more you grow and develop, the more you get in tune with your true you, right? Because you're you're seeing your dad in a different way. You're, you're even having thoughts and feelings about forgiveness and you, how you still love him, but how you don't agree with that behavior and how that kind of held you back. I mean, these are deep reflections. This creates a wiser person and which gets you um, more ready for a real thriving relationship because you want a relationship that's balanced and that you both can look into each other's eyes and work together as an awesome team that just adores one another. It's not always going to be perfect, um, but that's the, that's the good part about it. When when a relationship isn't um, completely in sync, um, where you're strong and they they have a weakness, you they'll be strong and you'll have a weakness, and you'll learn how to work together and to grow together as like a strong and sturdy tree. Okay. All right. I just felt inspired to tell you those things. You know what? I don't even know if you can hear me. I just found my microphone is way over there. I'm gonna pause this and see what the sound is like. You guys know something that I didn't know until I just stopped the video and listened? It actually was okay. Sound quality's not bad. I projected my voice loud enough that my microphone picked it up on the table. <laughs> now you can really hear me. Okay. I'm so glad about that. Okay, I'm gonna relax now and get started. Here we go. Your father. I just everything keeps bouncing back to me like super positive, like good, 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 good. And I actually feel like I'm surrounded by really delightful bouncy balls, large ones and small ones, and they're bouncing with joy in every direction. Like you gotta really embrace bouncing with joy and just beaming the, 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 the joy and the youthfulness and the light of who you are, because you really are like this vibrationally. Okay, I have to move into serious energy, which is really hard for me to do because your energy is so fun. Um, so I got to like, eh, okay, we got to go serious here. It's hard for me to do it. Okay, here you are. And I tell you that let's go go visit your dad for a little bit. Let's go talk to him. All right, I'm gonna just describe the scene as it is. It will make sense in time. It's a little groggy, a little bit on the darker side, okay? You're painting with shadow now. We can see some shadows here, okay. 
so I see your dad's face and it reminds me of the Wizard of Oz where he's standing behind the curtain, like, don't look at the man behind the curtain. I am the all-powerful Oz. And so his face is this, like, big face coming out of the smoke, that, you know, all-powerful, all-knowing Wizard of Oz. But really, I think they called him a hubbub, um, just behind the curtain. Um, only because he wasn't being honest. He wasn't being f forthright and completely honest. He felt like he had to be something um, like this big, all-powerful face when really he could just be himself, you know? Because the Wizard of Oz really did have some incredible insight and some incredible wisdom. What's interesting is, is it possible that your dad feels like he has to be something more than what he really is um, to imp impact um, wisdom on you when really he can just come out from be behind the curtain and be himself and just talk to you. Maybe he doesn't know how to just talk to you and just communicate, you know what I mean? Whatever you can do to not hold this against him and see him as like take your dad and bring him down to you know, let's all be on the same age and wavelength as we're all human beings and we're all working on something, you know? And sometimes, you know, our kids, for instance, see things in a way that is more clever and more honest and true that the parent needs to hear then the parent knows how to be for themselves or their for their kid. So that's why we have to remember our parents are human beings too. And that's how that's how your dad is portraying right now, okay? Almost like you have something to show him instead of him having something to show you. And that's that's a really beautiful thing, right? You still are angry. You still not happy with him and you feel in a way that your anger is necessary in order to to tell him about himself in a way that he could understand how he hurt you because to be angry is to help him understand how he hurt you so being nice to him isn't really the right way that's what you tell me that being nice is then forgiveness is then not really helping him to understand what he did wrong and you really want him to understand what he did wrong but maybe it's not time yet to have that conversation what i love about this is you're circulating into being your own person and making decisions for yourself and that's going to empower you and empower your life and because we all have to to grow up and grow out you know as in our branches need to extend beyond our our parents and then we start to build our own tree of of life like we become our own tree of life and then our parents get the joy of watching us become adults and do things all by ourselves. and so i feel like it's possible that he has an insecurity or a worry about you and he really wants you to live the best life possible but he has a worry about you and dating that might get in the way of you living the best life possible again is that the right way of communicating that should the ball be in your court and he should trust that you're an incredible soul living an incredible life that it's safe for you to make to find out some things for yourself to make some mistakes um, or to find an incredible relationship um, he can't put a block on that because it's not it's not fair to your life and your growth and development. But as you can see, there's still the friction of the parent and the child, right? Um, when the parent can let the child go and when the child then, you know, is a mature adult that can make their own decisions. So this is also part of like a family dynamic um, of growing and, and finding balance, okay? Somehow this keeps showing me that it's paralleling your relationship with actually um, dating. It keeps paralleling that. Almost like this altercation with your dad, the way that he, he has made you feel, it's somehow, because there is an unresolved energy here, it's, it's almost like there's more energy put into the unresolved energy with your dad because you keep it's like circulating back into something that's of the past now you really need to be in the present let that stuff go 
forgive your dad because you don't need to be holding on to that anymore. He has work to do. You can talk about it at some point in time, um, but time to put your energy, all your energy into the flow of a relationship and not into the flow of what your dad did wrong, okay? Because somehow that, it's almost like it's, it's circulating energy out and around over here to dad, okay? When really you could just not do that, right? And then all this energy is circulating to, hey, I'm available, hey, I'm looking for somebody who likes me for me, you know? So circulating the energy back to you, okay, solidly. Uh, okay, so we do need to still resolve this with your dad. <laughs> All right, so that will help, okay? That will help. <laughs> you're just so, you just so, you really are, like, you wear your heart on your sleeve and you're very, like, honest and genuine. And it, it, it's very easy to access it. There's not, there's not a lot of layers here in the way of just you being you. I would find it pretty difficult, I would think, for you to try to be somebody you're not because you're very, like, what you see is what you get. Like, you're very open and it's refreshing. I wouldn't change you for the world, okay? Please keep being your awesome self as, as I get to experience you. You just, you really are bright. Okay. Okay. Man. Why, this is really giving me a headache here. This must give you a headache too. I mean, this must, I feel your anger a lot. So what we'll do is we'll create a safe space where you can get mad at your dad, <laughs> okay? That's what we're gonna do. Cause you need to vent this out. You don't wanna let it go. You wanna vent it out. So that'll help us make a stride in to the next direction, even if it's still in this one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you are really mad at him. I bring him out from behind the curtain. We still have the, the Wizard of Oz kind of theme going on here. But you bring him out from behind the curtain and you... It's a safe space. You can do this. Okay, this is how angry he's made you. But you push him really hard and you look into his eyes and tell him how hurt his actions have made you feel. He really hurt you. Like he really hurt you deeply. And you're really angry at him for this. You are. Because he can't do that. He can't do that. You, you just... You say this, I, I tell you, okay, let's wait for him. Let's give him a chance to s respond here. He, ah, uh, he doesn't take responsibility. He doesn't take any responsibility. He just stands there and he's kind of all knowing dad, okay? You're not gonna get very far with this communication, just so you know. You can tell him all day long, but if he's not gonna take responsibility, then you're just talking to a wall. Let me go and see if I can find out what he's really vulnerable about, okay? Because if we could find some way to mend this a little bit more, I think it's gonna, it's gonna really boost you. I'm taking away all-knowing dad. He's deflated. He's like a deflated balloon. When he is an all-knowing person, it helps to fill in his... It's like he's a balloon without any air. But if he's all-knowing, then he appears to be full of structure, but he's actually just full of hot air. Hmm. So something in his life told him that he was strongest when he was full of hot air. But what he was portraying was an all-knowing person. But really, it's just hot air filling up a balloon. That makes me really sad. I'd ask him what uh, true structure is built upon. 
he walks away and he's just talking and um, he's he's just ignoring this conversation he just walks away and is talking about other things i don't know <laughs> he's telling me blah 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 blah. look at this look at that look at this over here look at these things mm. he doesn't want to have a heart to heart like an eye to eye he doesn't want to have a a genuine exchange of, of divine truth he wants to have a hot air exchange which is you know blowing off, like his words don't hold a lot of weight okay and that makes me sad but your words do hold a lot of weight for you and for anybody that you meet you will impact them with your words you if you don't impact your dad with your words that's okay okay that's okay if you don't impact your dad with your words, that's okay, because something along his path, it, it told him that he could be biggest and most valuablest, which is all not real, when he is full of hot air, like I said, and then his whole words don't hold weight, but it takes time to figure that out, right? That his words don't hold weight, but he's confident in his words that don't hold weight. So you might not notice right away that what he's really expressing is just a bunch of hot air. Your words do hold weight and you value the truth. And you value, you value something that your dad hasn't figured out that it is safe to be that way yet. Okay? So now you're the teacher, okay, for him about this. And don't hold it against him. Don't hold it against him because that gives you a, pow a power to be the bigger person, right? Because the bigger person has the courage to forgive someone for their insecurities. And when you have that little edge that you, you may just know inside yourself that your dad's not going to hear you and that's okay. It makes me sad, but I'm going to be okay with that because I, I understand him better now. What are you going to do with your energy and your words and your life? Are you going to keep putting it towards this hot air balloon? <laughs> or are you going to put it back to yourself and what you want to get out of this life? Because it's time for you to transition into the sensation of being your own person now. You know what I mean? I feel like you're coming to the table with a lot of caliber and yes, you can be your own person now, okay? And forgive him. Let's just see where we're at on this forgiveness train, okay? Because we've made some strides. Let's just see. You totally have changed your, I mean, you definitely feel different about your dad now. And you cry a tear for him. You ask me if he sees you for who you really are. Dang, that's a very good question. Let's find out. I have to remove a lot of layers of what's like um, talking and talking and talking. I, peel it away 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 so he is his most balanced him okay without all this other stuff in the way oh man i don't think this is gonna i don't think that his comfort level with you dating is it might never change okay because I, I ask him to look you in the into the eyes and see what a beautiful person that you are, what a beautiful daughter that you have. And he starts going on and on about you dating and you, he does. He actually falls into that very specific topic and his heart gets really clenched like a fist, okay? And he gets really aggressive about it and angry about it. And he's way overprotective of you. And it's way, it's really not healthy. You're definitely on to something here. No wonder you struggle to forgive him. But we're gathering more reasons why it's safe to just see your dad for who he is 
which then is forgiving him for his insecurities and now seeing what a strong person you are that you are actually on some level the teacher your dad now the student okay i don't enjoy that feeling personally i like i it's a, it's a hard feeling to have but that that is actually appropriate that that's an appropriate approach for you okay here in this situation because you always will honor your dad even when he's like this that also is an unbalanced, unbalanced relationship, but I love the fact that you honor he, your dad because you want to, you show him respect. But how is then he respecting you? Maybe it doesn't matter because he's your father, but you've already identified that it does matter that your dad is respecting you and your wishes to date. That's another reason why your anger, you have anger because the, the balance of respect is not, is not there. It's out of balance. Again, let me see if we can go into the dating process, okay? I want to just see if we can start putting energy away from your dad and into this dating process. Because it's, it's like he's sucking in way too much air from even your own energy. Like, he wants to just breathe you in. And, you know, even if he's upsetting you, it still gives him power over you, okay? Because he still has you in his corner. But don't give him that anymore. Don't give him any of that. You stand your own ground, see him at a distance for the way he is. He is still your dad, right? And now time to just mm, veer the energy into how you want to grow in, in, in life, okay? How you want to grow. It's not easy for me to get into this. I'm so, these are really good questions and this session is going to majorly help you because I'm going into the path of you dating and finding a compatible person. And it is very hard for me to veer you into being an open book or being visible or accessible. It is not easy. And I still don't understand why entirely yet. I, I feel like it has to do with you eventually will have to come to a conscious or like decision, a, a sensory experience or feeling that you are your own adult now. And when that happens, you know, mom and dad are are the people that have always been there to help you raise you you love and respect them even though they're not perfect people right and they're they have their own issues right but it's time for you to live for yourself and that is going to really help empower this step in your life it just feels like there's still work to do here i don't know that you're ever going to get through to your dad and so what more work is there to do I'm going to ask you, what more work is there to do between you and your dad? Let's say you can't get through to him. And that's okay. What if we could take a break with trying? What if we just completely disconnect all of our energy from anything having to do with our thoughts and feelings about your dad? And we just disconnect it completely and then focus on thoughts and feelings about enrichment of a relationship. Boy, you're just mad. All right, still working on it. I'm getting to kind of turn you and you're like the tin man who hasn't been oiled, right? And I'm trying to turn you and you're dried out. And I'm trying to turn you from the direction of your father to the direction of a relationship. And it just isn't turning. You need to, some oil. <laughs> you need oil. Mm. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to see that an incredible soulmate enters into your life. 
whether this is um, a, a beautiful partnership for the long term or this is a beautiful new friendship, okay? Um, but it's going to be a soulmate that really impacts your life and means a lot to you. And I'm going to see that soulmate entering in. And yes, it's like, a, I, you're, you're really specific. You're like, okay, I really like friendships, but I really want a long-term partnership. I only want you to put a soulmate in front of me that's going to be my long-term life partner. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see what happens. I'm supposed to tell you that the reason I keep the door open is because that love is love, you know? And sometimes we have more learning to do before we meet the perfect one. And we don't know what the perfect one is doing. Maybe they have more learning to do. So is it really you not being a um, certain style that fits the bill for being relationship worthy? Or is it that you are one of a kind looking for a one of a kind soulmate who has work to do and so do you and you're just not there yet? Um, in order to enter into each other's lives and that's okay it's the most cringy thing i could tell anybody who's ready for a companion right all right so here is your soulmate okay you can't see each other you Again, there's a challenge between you seeing him eye to eye, him seeing you. The reason why is because you're still trying, your eyes are still on your father. That is an essential thing that you're going to have to work through um, in order to start opening the door for a, a relationship and for it to be like a super successful process, okay? Now, all the energies are saying this. Everything has a divine time, so don't feel rushed. Just let things fall into place, okay? But be aware of that. You start to cry and you say, why is my dad my dad? <laughs> why is he your dad? Hmm. Why is your dad your dad? I mean, that's a whole other kitten caboodle right there. And it's gonna take some time to actually give you a, a very strong, bold answer to that question. And I don't think we need that answer right now in order for your eyes to divert away from your father. Or I'm getting your eyes to divert away from your father. All right, I need to go. I, this is really a bummer, but I am going to have to do some thing to block him because his energy is overpowering you. And that energy, his energy needs to go back to himself. He can eat and consume and enjoy his energy all day long, but not yours. And that's not like he's consciously doing it, by the way. It's just the, the nature of your relationship and your energy exchanges. And which might, you might actually know this and part of what makes you angry as well. But that only continues to put energy in his court. Not worth it. Okay, let me see what I can do here. I need you to do it. I tell you, I need you to see that your dad is safe. And he is surrounded by the walls of a beautiful light. And this light is divine love and divine wisdom. That anything that he expresses to you bounces off the wall and goes back to himself. So that he can finally start to look at himself in the mirror of himself. Not the mirror of you, the mirror of himself. You are right. It's as if he's living through you instead of living for himself again, because if he is living for himself, he's a deflated balloon. And then he's, you know, almighty dad so that he doesn't have to live in the reality that he's not almighty. He's just a guy, you know, we're all just people. <laughs> he, he notices what's happened here. You chose to do this for his best interest. 
and I start to see he's really um, changing. He's uh, really concerned. And believe it or not, he starts to feel a bit ill in his emotional gut. And there's lots of black crows starting to appear in here. What this is representative of is him working on something toxic that he needs to see inside of himself because that toxicity is not for you, it's for him to, to be present with it, to look at it, to work through it, and he's starting to uh, feel it. Keep sending, his, keep sending anything back because if he were to have a conversation, I, I would even hang up the phone. If I, I'm telling you something is hitting me hard here that um, you vibrationally be proud of who you are, send light and love to your dad, keep building up the, the walls for him to have a mirror to himself. And these are, this is angelic stuff we're talking about here. So the angelic energy is helping to draw out something toxic within himself that he has not been able to look at. Hence the reason why he has become like he is. Because he's not looking at this toxic stuff and instead now you're having to digest it. No, he has to, okay? And so now he is in a little room with his toxic stuff. It's not easy. It's not easy for you to go through hard stuff. Not easy for him, not easy for anybody. But we have to go through this hard stuff so we can grow and become better people. This is a lot better. Let me see if you can look into the eyes of like the like the soulmate of your dreams, okay? He is very possessive of you. Your father is very possessive of you. Because now you are, your eyes are open, looking into the eyes of your your soulmate, and it's your dad's eyes. <sighs> What's interesting is you want a soulmate you can obsess over. Your dad is obsessing over you. <laughs> because what is possession but obsession? And not letting that obs obsession go be free <laughs> you know it's like um possessive your father is obsessed but possessive and now your obsession is is, all, is like an innocent statement like i just want to fall in love and just be so enamored by the soulmate you know so it's obsessed right because it's enamored it's it's in love with right um but oddly there's something of the residue of your father in this and it, it, right now, I mean, it's totally innocent, so it might not come out the same way. However, it's attracting a soulmate that is going to challenge you in the exact same way your father is challenging you, which then he is going to be obsessed with you. And that's not going to end up being a healthy relationship. It's going to wind up feeling like you're imprisoned without realizing it. And so, again, to be aware of this, okay? Oh man, uh, this is what I was concerned about. You're kind of um, like not sure what to do at all. And I tell you, don't, don't let any of this create like a disheartened feeling at all. This is just some clarity, okay? And the, to emphasize, um, you're on the right track. Your emotions towards your dad make a heck of a lot of sense. We've done energy work to block that. So you're going to start being full of more and more and more of your own energy that is not going to be shared with him. So you're going to get vibrationally louder and more available so that you can be heard by other souls that you're available and you're looking for your soulmate, okay? Now, it's okay if you attract somebody that seems like the perfect person and you live a really beautiful long relationship and there's conflict. Um, there's still work to do with your dad that, that's still very new. And that's why it's overshadowing. This is only right now. Six months from now may look totally different, okay? So let, let's not let this be the end result. Let's just let this be the way the energies look right now. <laughs> As you work on some stuff, it's gonna totally change, okay? But this might give you some motivation to say, it is so flippin' important that I, that I choose to Again, forgive your dad for the way he is. 
put your attention into what you want to get out of this life, see yourself as your own person now, and you have the freedom to live as your own person now. And you need to make that happen, okay? For you, that's going to empower your life big time, and that is going to get you in the right direction with a relationship. And don't worry about how I'm seeing things right now. That is like a big step one, okay? All right, so I'm going to remove the illusion that it's like this is a sticker of your father's eyes. I'm just going to remove that because I want you to be able to see your soulmate. And that, that is the way that you will find the one that you're actually attracted to. Otherwise, okay, you're going to be looking for what you think you're looking for is actually going to be something familiar to you, like your dad, without you realizing it. Um, so we're going to remove, we're gonna clear that energy out because what you're actually looking for is not your dad, <laughs> okay? Um, maybe these guys that you're not interested, that are interested in you might be a, a better path than you know. <laughs> but I know, I get where you're coming from with that. still peeling off the sticker and you instantly have a staff and you pound it really hard on the ground and you stomp your foot and you tell God and the universe I am not going to date my dad <laughs> you say that I'm like wow look at you go <laughs> and all this golden light starts to appear and you say help me to see my soulmate and let that reflection be of a man who is guiding me into a place of healing, not guiding me to a place of self-imprisonment. I am ready for healing. I am ready for, for growth and abundance. I am ready to share my life with somebody who loves me, who I love. Like you're on and on like making these statements and I'm done with my dad and I don't want that energy in my life and that energy is toxic and I am safe and I, I am letting light go to him, but he, he this is not an energy exchange anymore. He needs to work on himself. You're saying all this stuff. You're doing this. This is correct. This is great. This is 100%. This is correct. Go you. All right. I feel so good. This is a great ending to your session. <laughs> okay. So let me emphasize that this ending um, proves to me that you're working through this in a way that is going to help guide you to a really thriving and beautiful relationship. What you needed to know is everything that's come forward is only going to strengthen you and this whole process. Be proud of who you are and keep rolling. Like you're a happy bouncy ball and just be colorful and bright and, and innocent and genuine and just keep being you. It will all fall into place. Okay. And be proud of who you are and stand your ground with who you are. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for the experience. Thank you for sharing. Thank you everybody for watching. I have a feeling there's going to be some awesome comments on this session. So thank you all for sharing your thoughts and feelings and um, have a beautiful day.